SWAT. Hey guys, it's Wayne here from Dewey HQ, and today I'm bringing you a Halo Reach commentary, and this is just some SWAT gameplay, and the meaning of this video is, if you haven't already looked at the title yet, it'll be my position in Halo 4. Now, what I'll be doing for Halo 4, I'll be doing a number of different things. First of all, I'm getting limited edition, so I'm hoping to do an unboxing video. Hopefully, I can get that up day one as soon as it comes out. And you guys can be like, oh, goody, limited edition. Like, if you haven't picked it up yet, you'll be like, oh, man, that'll be so sweet to pick, like, have a look at all this stuff. So, yeah, I'll do the best to show off what's in the limited edition. Now, onto the actual game. Now, um, on the actual game, I'll definitely be doing a campaign playthrough. Uh, the campaign playthrough will be more like, um... It'll be more more of a um like a a solo playthrough, so no no friend this time. I'll it'll be like reactions based on me. But the way I'm gonna work is I'm gonna stay quiet during cutscenes, so you guys can get the full cinematic effect. And excuse me. <coughs> Whoa, that was a big burp. Um, sorry about that. And um, so yeah, I'll be definitely doing one of them. And then as soon as I finish the campaign, I'll be coming around Forge, and checking all that out, checking out all the items. I'll definitely be, putting, definitely be putting up some forged maps. You can definitely agree with that. And, um, yeah, Rewind jumped on. If you haven't already noticed, I'm playing with my buddy, um, Gavin. So, uh, this is just a quick... He wanted to play some SWAT, and I was like, I don't want to play SWAT. And I was like, I don't like SWAT. And <laughs> so I was like, uh, all right, I'll, I'll play it with you, just just for you. So he, he should feel very, very, very special. So, um... He actually did. I actually did a lot better in this than him in this game, actually. And um, it, we're only uh, I think it's how many days? Um, we're only about three weeks away from Halo Four. I imagine that guy's getting excited right now. Yeah, yeah. Three weeks yesterday. So if you guys are really excited for the game, that's great. Um, I reckon it's, they're doing pretty well with it. I honestly think that um. 343 are doing a lot better job than Bungie are, or I know Bungie set up the universe and all that type of stuff, but 343, I think they're more dedicated to Halo and trying to improve it, and I get a 6 assassination here, stupid bitch, and um, get my killing spree up, so yeah, so I'll definitely be doing Black Ops 2 and Halo 4, so it'll be really cool, like I'm really excited to play those games, like uh, just Black Ops for Zombies, but um, Halo for everything, because Halo's Halo, and you can't go wrong with Halo. So, um, uh, on Forge, um, there's three actual um, forging maps, forging environments, sorry. Uh, one being Impact, which is in space, it's on Asteroid, sick Asteroid Belt, um, looks really cool. Uh, the third one, oh no, the second one, sorry, the being Ravine, which was the one they showcased at RTX. And their third one is called, um, I'm not exactly sure what the third one's called, but it is the uh, map they showed off with the Griff Ball Court, and it actually opens up into like a big cave thing, I, I can't exactly remember what it's called, it's some, uh, it's some strange name, uh, it's caved in, I don't know, it's something like, it's in a giant cave, but it looks like a more high groundy, high ground from Halo 3 kind of forge setup, so it's like it's lower at one point and then it goes higher. I imagine that I'll see a whole bunch of asymmetrical maps on that on that um, forging environment. So that, you can't go wrong, they've they've built a whole bunch of forging environments, like I know with Halo Reach there was Forge World, but they never added any more like that, and I was really hoping they would, but I guess they, they just kind of left the game to like sit there, and the map packs were really awful. Like, they were quite awful, like um, Breakpoint was okay for Invasion, because, um, it was good while it was out, because people, like, people just don't have the map packs, so you would get it in Invasion, that's why I was really excited when they brought out these Forge maps for Invasion, it just made it a little bit better, it just brought the playlist up, instead of playing Spire and Bloody Boneyard over and over again, you got something different, so, pick up a sick double kill there, oh, not really, it's only a single kill headshot, but anyway, um, so yeah, this this video is coming to an end. So uh, apart from apart from saying that I'm going to be doing the campaign and forge and uh, maybe doing some machinimas, maybe 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 doing machinimas. Um, I'll definitely doing a whole bunch of stuff over the summer holidays. Um, if you guys are American, yeah yeah, when it's winter over there, 
we get like a giant summer holiday like you do. So, yeah. So, because, you know, uh, Christmas is during summer, so. I'll be doing a whole bunch of other projects, so. Anyway, I better wrap this up, so. Guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button, and even if you don't have the time to or you don't want to, that's fair enough. Completely up to you. But if you enjoyed these videos, I so highly suggest you subscribe. So, guys, thank you for watching, and this is Dwayne here from New HQ. Stay tuned for my Halo 4 stuff. See yous.